Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel for ACCA FR exam prep. My name is Eden. In this video, I'll be taking you through how to account for lease liability, a lease liability uh, under a lease agreement. How do we account for the discounted lease liability or the lease obligation? Now let's look at this question. To start with the requirement. What amount will appear under non-current liabilities in respect of the, the statement of financial position of Frisco at 31st December X6? So the answer to the nearest thousand. Now on 1st January 20 X6, so Frisco co acquired an item of plant under a four-year lease agreement. So these to the year end, that's 12 months. A deposit of 700 was payable on the commencement of the lease on 1st January 20X6. Now the present value of the future lease payment was 1871.1 a further three installments of 700 so this 700 should indicate to you that is the uh, lease rental are payable annually in advance so this would be an advance payment this would be advance payment so this advance payment have to be accounted for when we are drawing up the amortization setup. So now let's see how we present these in the amortization setup. So uh, the lease amortization. Now we have the year end. So the first year end of 31st December 20x6. And this is the nearest thousand. So what we'll do is to have the opening balance. The, because we have the rental paid in advance, then we'll have the rental paid. Then we have outstanding balance. So we have outstanding balance after the rental payment. And then we'll have the closing. So we'll have the finance finance cost then we have the closing balance so it's a pro forma you have to remember when you are working for advance payment so the opening balance uh, to the nearest thousand will be 1871 it's point 0.1 but we ignore the one we got to the nearest thousand so 1871 the rental paid has already been de deducted. Look at it. The present value of the future lease payment. So the remaining three years, the present value of the rentals of 700 discounted at the rate of 6% gives us 1871. So it's important you know that the lease rental was paid in advance. Therefore, it is the outstanding rentals that will be discounted to have the present value very important principle so it means that in the first year the renter was already paid for so uh, the outstanding balance will still be 1871 and the finance cost would be which is six percent will be based on outstanding balance so 1871 times six percent that will give us 112.26 so approximately 112 so we we'll have a closing balance. So 1871 plus 112. That should give us 1983. Now remember the requirement, the non carrying liability at the end of the year. So we step down to the next year, which is 20x7. The opening balance will be 1983. Then the lease rental will be paid with 700. Then the capital outstanding will be one two eight three, and this one two eight three becomes the non-current 
liability in terms of the presentation. So the non current liability at 31st December 20x6. So it is the closing balance we have split into non current liability and current liability. And the current liability is the next rental payment. So this will be the current liability. And as you are aware, this amount will go to PL as finance cost. So let's see the options. So here is option C. One, two, A3. Now notice that the uh, option had 700, but 700 is the current liability. This is the non current liability. So you have to pay attention to the details of the requirement. It says non current liability. Non current liability. Non current liability. You miss it, you get it wrong. So I hope this helps you to revise uh, accounting for leases, particularly where there is an advanced rental payment. So take note of the principle. Please subscribe to this channel to receive updates on new videos.